All right, students, so the problem that we have today is a problem which came in BSTAT 2022 examination, UGA examination. And you can see that even in the toughest examinations, you will find that easy questions are here and there. So amongst all the polynomials, fx, which looks like a polynomial of degree 10 x to power 10 with real coefficients satisfying mod px less than equal to mod x for all x belonging to minus 1 to 1 what is the maximum possible value of this particular quantity right that is c0 and c1 are in picture so we need to identify how we guys can get c0 and the value of c1 from this particular question now the polynomial x is given to be something of c0 c1x and then it goes till c10 x raised to power 10 right so mod px right so if we write this mod px less than equal to mod x especially for x belonging to minus 1 to 1 now this is something which is very very interesting and uh, something which you can remember also for later usages this particular thing that is mod px or mod fx whatever is less than equal to mod x so whenever you have less than equal to mod x right so if i put at x equal to 0 right what will be the value let's see so you will say mod p0 is less than equal to mod 0 and mod 0 is nothing but 0 right and you know mod is there on the left hand side also so that means it cannot take negative values so that means the only possible value here of p0 comes out to be 0 and this is the interpretation of this particular thing which you should remember for later usage also very very interesting and that is what is very common in these kind of questions where mod is there on the both side and there's an inequality in between so if this p0 comes out to be 0 p0 so if i put uh, 0 here I put x equal to 0 here this implies you get the value of c0 equal to 0. So we were trying to find out the maximum value of this. So that means this reduces to just finding. So this reduces to c1 raised to power 10, right? The maximum, the, the required quantity. So that means our concentration boils down to finding the maximum value that c1 can take. If you want to find the pro maximum value of this, that means now the target is only to figure out the maximum value of c1. How we are going to do that, that we are going to find the maximum value of uh, C1. Okay, again, we will go back to the equation that Px mod less than equal to modulus x. So we know that despite that we have written that it is zero. So let's, if we write like this, C10 mod, this has to be less than mod this. Now, what is the maximum value on the right hand side? What's the max value? Because we are known, we are, we are given that uh, x lies from minus 1 to 1. So that means max value is equal to 1, isn't it? And this can only match up, right? If this can only match up, if I say that for all these values, I should not use word x, but c2 equal to c3 or up till c10, this reduces to 0. And you are given that mod c1x less than equal to mod x which we can now intuitively see is nothing but which gives the maximum c1 that is equal to 1 then only you will be able to find the maximum value right otherwise you will not be able to find the maximum value there could be different different values but and also notice here in the question nowhere it is mentioned that the coefficients cannot be zero so sometimes as a student we guys tend to have a bias that they should be existing it might be possible that they do not exist. So the maximum possible value obviously in this case will be, will be this when polynomial which is given to us is nothing but tends towards mod x only when it is nothing but mod x. That is what is what we guys are trying to say. So now c0 is equal to 0 and c1 is equal to 1. So you have your max answer ready. So the max answer to this particular problem is equal to 1 because 1 to the power anything is nothing but 1 itself. I hope you enjoyed this problem. Very, very simple, but at the same time, very tricky problem. And that is what makes the questions difficult at a particular examination. All right, guys, this is your next homework problem. We'll be discussing this in the next video. Let me know in the comment section what all options are correct. This is multi-correct option, right? This is a multi-correct question. So there could be one or more options correct. Do let me know which one of you finds which of the options is correct.